All right, so um, how, how does the deputy feel about what's going on? In town? Yeah. Well, we were just talking about There's actually a lot in town that I am not privy to. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in terms of the assault and, and, and what happens in Henry's story that way. However, the town is corrupt and she's on it immediately. And so, um, you know, I think that that's, that's a huge part of my character mm -hmm. is exploring that. Yeah. Uh, How does she, because she's being told kind of to forget things or to let things go and she's not, so where does she find that in her to be able to like push through when there's like boundaries put on her? This character has a strong sense of, of, of justice and um, without going too far into, into backstory, she was, um, there was a crime that happened in the issues on the NYPD and uh, she kind of gets placed in this town. Um, and it's basically because of her sense of justice that she was prevented from doing her job. So when she comes here, she's also being turned at every corner, and uh, she just doesn't stand for it. <laughs> like yeah. do the politics and exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as the show plays out with your character specifically, do you feel like you're a bit naive to just how corrupt the city really is? Because you have a lot of like aha moments like where you feel like you've won and then it doesn't seem to play out that way. <laughs> that's so. right, that's right. Well I think coming from uh, the, the NYPD there's a, there's, her spidey senses are tingling when she gets there and immediately you know something's off and I think that it's, even though she's alone in this town, has no friends, she's black, she's a woman, none of this stops her because the truth is what she's, she seeks and that I find it quite admirable about her. Definitely. Sarah, yes. if we get a season two, are we going to see more of Jenna dealing with her sexuality? There are kind of some hints sprinkled throughout season one. Yes, so I think that I really hope so, and I definitely think that's the direction that the show is heading in. Yeah. And um, I feel so grateful to be involved in a story like this, and I think it's really interesting because following the storyline, really Jenna has been through so much in her life with her mom dying of Alzheimer's, and she puts a lot of pressure on herself to be what she needs to be for other people. So I, I love that we take the time to really let Jenna get to know herself, and I think that'll definitely be explored further. The relationship between Henry and Jenna really develops throughout the season. Can you talk, like, for you, what did you find to be the best part of, like, how their relationship works? Okay, so what I think is so beautiful about it is when we meet them, they're polar opposites in a lot of ways and they're thrust into the situation where they don't really want to coexist with each other but when the assault takes place we get to see Jenna's true colors and she's going to be there for Henry because that is who she is. She is a compassionate person. She is going to be the rock that Henry needs. And I think the reason why their relationship evolves the way it does um, like let alone forget just the assault but it's also that they both have qualities that they aspire to have in themselves, that they see in each other. Um, as an example, I think Jenna really looks up to Henry's ability to not care what other people think and to be independent, whereas I think Henry looks up to Jenna's ability to love and care for other people because Henry hasn't had a lot of that in her life. Um, and I think that's why our relationship evolves the way it does and the bond is formed. And I have that with Maddie Hassan as well. And we just love working together, so it comes through on screen, I think. Um, I actually had questions while watching the season about the sexuality of your character as well, and I wasn't sure if um, if you were if your character was supposed to present it as lesbian or not. But I I don't know I don't know why it was something it was a relationship with a friend maybe. In the I first have a, the no I have a feeling because it's very um, it's very vague and it's very mysterious. You're not quite sure why she's she, she there's no. Um, she's not with a man, there's no, we're not really sure, and she gets quite close to Cleo right. in the show. Um, but I, you know, what I found kind of, um, Missy and I would laugh at it, is, is the fact that it's, it's all just to get information from her. So she, but she is also very lonely and doesn't have any, any friends in the team, so it's sad that she's using her, but it furthers the story along and, and ends up paying off it in the end. But. Uh, but yeah, there's no, I mean, who knows where the story could go. But at this point, that wasn't what part of it, but I can see exactly why you might, might see that. Do you find that refreshing for your character, that there's, you, 
you don't have to worry about all of that being defined by a relationship. You're just building yeah, your she's character. Yeah, she's a person who wants to get at the truth. She wants to help. She wants to figure out. And so I think that, yeah, I think that that was fantastic, you know, for sure. For sure. How was the reaction been from the fans? I mean, this is such a gem show, and you kind of have to look to find it, but when you do, you're like, wow, this is really, really good. Thank you very much for saying that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we've been very lucky. That is, the overall response has been extremely positive. It's not lukewarm. It's not no. lukewarm. When people find this show, they have become, it's, it's, they're passionate about it. Which exactly. Is, which is how we feel yeah, about it. Yeah, we're so passionate about it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, and especially with all the important themes that we tackle, and there was definitely a lot of areas where we could be criticized and we haven't been, and it was really such a huge goal, goal and so important to us to betray all these different things as accurately as we possibly could and have hopefully have people feel seen and recognize pieces of themselves in these characters. And that seems to have happened when we're so grateful. And just as a piece of, of art, you know, it, 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 it moves so well. And we would we were dying to get the scripts every yes. week. And episode nine is one of my favorites. It moves so fast. I was literally reading it. Or reading it. <laughs> it was like watching a movie, but it was in my script. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. um, I'm just wondering, what is it that, that you find as you're interacting with fans? What are they responding to the most from the show? Hmm. I think it would be a combination of the accuracy portrayed by our lovely Maddie Hassan playing Henry with all of this crazy situation she finds herself in, mm -hmm. combined with all the bonds that are formed on the show. I think the relationships, people are really connecting to all the different relationship dynamics, mm -hmm. which is a lovely. The show has a balance that I haven't seen in many shows. It's, it's definitely sci-fi thriller action, but it's got this real truth and in, in we're dealing with sexual assault and the relationships that it it, it kind of makes it plausible you know seeing how you know actual people, how it would actually be if your stepsister could teleport yes, it's like, yes and that we don't just assume it's a superpower at the beginning because that's not I don't think that's a natural conclusion that we would come to in everyday life so I love that we tackled it that way as well yeah, yeah. that's true um I wanted to ask and Given our political climate right now, like one thing I appreciated about the show was having a strong black female character taking on a strong white male character <laughs> yeah. in a rural American town. What was that like for you when you saw that in the script? It's like a, a type of role I've never played, you know, the fact that it, they're, they're very rarely written, and so I felt very honored to be able to get to do that, but it's true, I think it's important to see images like this, to see this, to know that it's possible, and um, to also know we're charting new territory in that way uh, on, on screen, but I think it's the relevance of that is could not be more timely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks guys Thank so you. much.